Hello everyone, welcoming you to Shore of Sir's classes. And today we are looking at the ISI MSQE 2023 PA paper question number 10. So the question says, consider an economy where the output income is demand determined. It in, in this economy, lambda proportion of the total income is distributed to the workers and one minus lambda proportion to the capitalist. The fund capitalists save SC fraction of their income and consume the rest and the workers save SW fraction of their income and consume the rest also SW greater than SC. The aggregate demand consists of total consumption demand and the total investment demand. Investment demand is autonomously given by A bar units. So the question says suppose saving propensities remain the same but the share of the total income distributed to the workers increases. That means we are talking of increase in lambda. Then in the new equilibrium, we want to find the effect on aggregate savings and income. All right. So first of all, let's recalculate our equilibrium incomes once more. So add, so let me write down the information once more. Workers attribute to getting lambda proportion of the income capitalists attribute to getting 1 minus lambda y proportion of the income okay so given a demand determined economy the consumption function of the workers would be the autonomous component 1 minus sw which is the marginal propensity to consume times lambda y and the consumption function for the capitalist would be the autonomous component times 1 minus sc into 1 minus lambda y. Therefore, at equilibrium, y would be equals to c plus i. The total consumption would be consumption by workers plus capitalist investment is autonomous. So that means we can write y is equals to cw bar plus 1 minus sw times lambda y plus cc bar plus 1 minus sc times 1 minus lambda y plus i bar. So if we take all the y terms together, that will become 1 minus lambda into 1 minus sw minus 1 minus lambda into 1 minus sc whole into y is equals to c w bar plus c c bar plus i bar. So in the exact same way, I am denoting it as a bar. The left hand side will get simplified to lambda s w plus 1 minus lambda s c times y is equals to a bar. So y is basically or the optimal y star is a bar divided by lambda s w plus 1 minus lambda sc. The first thing that we want to find out is the change in y star due to change in lambda. So if we do that, it would be minus of a bar divided by denominator whole square. So 1 minus lambda sc whole square sw minus sc. Okay. So it's given in the question that workers save more than the capitalist. So SW greater than SC, that implies that this part is positive and everything else positive with a minus makes it negative. So the aggregate income will fall. Next, we want to find the effect on aggregate savings. So what is aggregate savings? Savings of the workers plus savings of the capitalists. So that would be SW bar plus SW times lambda y plus SC bar plus small SC times 1 minus lambda times y. So what would be the total change in savings due to change in lambda? So that would be SW y plus lambda dy by d lambda plus sc times 1 minus lambda times dy by d lambda minus y. 
so if we take out the y components that could be y times sw minus sc plus dy by d lambda lambda sw plus 1 minus lambda sc so that is y times sw minus sc and dy is minus a bar times lambda sw plus 1 minus lambda sc whole square times sw minus sc and the remaining is lambda sw plus 1 minus lambda sc so one of them will get cancelled and if we replace so we'll have sw minus sc taken common and that would be y minus a bar divided by lambda sw plus 1 minus lambda sc if you replace again the optimal value of y that is again a bar divided by lambda sw plus 1 minus lambda sc then it will again become 0 so that means the aggregate savings will remain unchanged so income will fall and aggregate savings will remain unchanged so here also your correct option turns out to be option number d thank you